I do. You, I think you that... dress like you're going to tell an old woman that her claim was denied. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make my mustache fall off, Bill. Yeah. You go to the Olive Garden, eat your breadsticks, and not even care. If you say one more bad thing about the Olive Garden, I'm gonna Will Smith you in the fucking face. <laughs> now, not everything has to uh, have a big. Well, when I don't have a point, all of a sudden you start insulting me. You know, you don't you don't play with the fucking you know fair deco. However, that expression goes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I love about you, Bill. You don't love anything about me. I'm I... just another person that you can dump your sad life on. I don't even take you seriously. You're a fucking cartoon to me. <laughs> Again. I like how you guys are feeling bad for fake Dr. Phil. Like, oh my God, you hurt his fake feelings. I will tell you this. <laughs> It's an incredible makeup job, but there is a sad clown underneath all of that. I will tell you that right now. You don't even want, you don't even want to fucking, oh my God. Never pick up the phone when Adam calls at two in the morning. It's like how fat people eat. You know what I mean? Go on. Like, remember when we were kids? It was like a candy bar was a candy bar, ice cream was ice cream. You never had the unholy matrimony, the two of them. But fat people late at night were doing that shit. You know who you are. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and these big companies found out about it and they started doing it and never gave these fatties credit. And they're not gonna come waddling out going, hey, I came up with that shit. There's yeah. too much shame involved. But they're the ones who did it. Because I had a fat roommate and the deal with a fat roommate is during the day, you watch them eat. You're like, how the fuck is this person fat? But after midnight, all the questions are answered. You start hearing sounds. Is there a raccoon in the house? What is going on? And one day you have the balls to go down there. And they fucking look up from this bowl of slop. You don't even know what it is. I mean, I would rather walk in on a murder than walk in on a clinically obese person at two in the morning. Look at Phil, Phil's gonna lose, Phil's gonna lose his mustache on that one. You know what, you know why that was funny? That's a fucking true story. It's a true story. It's a fucking, I had a buddy of mine, he said to me one time, I, I told him I got a pint of ice cream. This fat fuck, I told this fatty that I had a pint of ice cream, right? What'd he do? And he goes, like, oh yeah, I love, I love fucking buyers. He goes, you ever just leave it out for a couple hours and let it melt and then just drink it like a shake? Oh my God. Yeah, and that's what I did, I went like, no. And then, and then, and then he tried to play it off like, yeah, me neither, me neither. <laughs> Like, you fucking do that shit. That's why you're so fat, your metabolism. This guy's doing Jaeger shots with fucking Ben and Jerry's. It does sound delicious. Oh, dude, I mean, I mean, that's a, there is a way, you know, there is something about, I think about that a lot. The old way of just not questioning and just fucking dropping at 58. Nice fucking heart attack. Just doing, just giving into it. Would you like insert and you? Yeah. Yeah. Of yes. Course. Whatever. Pizza. Fuck yeah. Who doesn't like pizza? Oh, I went to Get a another one. I went to a Denny's maybe 48 hours ago, right? And I was like, I'll have the pancakes, and they were like, Do you want a, a cheeseburger on it? I said, Sure. Fuck yeah. What does it come with? And they go, A hot foot Sunday. I said, On the burger? They go, If you want. <laughs> Denny's, Denny's was my spot when I was a struggling comedian and I, did, I would have a show doing a college gig and I didn't want to pay, f you know, you check out at two and then sure. just try to, you know, had an early flight. The if I had a 6 a.m. flight, I'd try to stay out the whole night so I would go to like a 24-hour Denny's. What the fuck is a late night Denny's experience like in your well, day? Well, I arrived at one in like fucking Nebraska. I'll never forget. I came in at like four in the morning, had a 6 a.m. flight and I went in there and it was, I was like the only one in there and I sat down and I forget what I ordered. And all I remember was Paul McCartney and Wings. Were, was there? Was, was on it. Oh. Was, was no. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you open with that? So me and Paul McCartney were at a Denny's in Omaha. Okay. And he was still in a good mood. It was so fucking annoying. It's like, are you ever sad? So, no. Paul McCartney and Wings was playing on the radio. 
And it was going, somebody knocking on the door. Somebody ringing the bell. Somebody knocking on the door. Open the door to me. And I fucking looked up and there was a trucker all the way across and we looked up at the same time and our eyes met. And I just started laughing at the ridiculousness of the situation because he had like pancakes of whipped cream and I had some sort of like fucking something with an egg on it. <laughs> it was just so fucking lonely. And I, I wasn't laughing at him. I was laughing at the, like, how the fuck did we end up here? Sure. You know, do you yeah. want me to bring my pancakes over? Or are you gonna bring over your, 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 your Jim Dandy? But he didn't, he took it as like, uh, you know, like I was laughing at him and then it was like fucking weird and I had to try to turn it into a yawn. It was really bad. Well, that was really sad, Bill, first of all. Well, you know. But life is All sad. All they do is they, they don't make the documentary until you make it. And then uh, it looks like it's fucking great. They got to do it early. By the way, I'd watch a Denny's documentary tonight. <laughs> Who do you think, uh, what do you think it would be? I'm more of an IHOP guy. There was something about that blue roof just made it feel like it was more quality. <laughs> Denny's, everything was like shh, fucking earth tones and stuff. And it just didn't seem like they cared. Like yeah. I've never understood the colors of Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Well, I Which, by the way, your... Mexican people, stop saying white people think that's Mexican food. We know it's fast food. There's a drive through okay? <laughs> we're, we're dumb, we're not that dumb, all right? <laughs> not a lot of laughs on that. I, they think that's like authentic Mexican food. Do you guys think Olive Garden, and this is real Italian. Do you really think that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I know we're dumb. Give us a little bit of fucking well, credit. Well, you watch your fucking mouth if you're gonna bad mouth the OG um, in front of me right now. Well, here's what I don't understand, huh? I'll, I'll pay upwards of $45 for never-ending pasta tonight if you want me to. Oh, you like that? Never-ending never breadsticks? Guess what? You can go there, ask for 10 breadsticks, finish them, and then go, you got any more? <laughs> and they don't give a fuck. They'll bring them out. they will shove them right into your fucking pants if and you want them to. Why do you think they don't give a fuck? Because they care. No. Your family. Have you no. seen the goddamn commercials? It's poison. They're feeding you poison. Why can you keep eating it? There's no nutrition in it. But they're on OnlyFans, and they're giving away their cereal. Uh, they're basically getting into a bathtub with cereal and milk. Have you guys heard about this? Yeah. And they're giving away the bath water uh, on their OnlyFans. And I wrote down, to which Tony the Tiger said, Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not bad. And let's say we're all so hanging we're, we're, out. We're, we're gang banging we're her. We're all gang banging. Everyone's swapping you're, juices you're and stories. In the room. You're not in the room yet. I'm getting ready to come in. All right. right. So you don't have to act out anything unless you want to do something to that balloon. But I'll just. So Bill, you're you're ha everyone's hanging out. All right. Wait a second. No offense. Not that I only get blown by white women. This is not. I'm not trying to be racist with this fucking balloon for all you people. So I'm getting ahead. Oh my God, it's fucking amazing. I've always wanted to get ahead while there was four other dicks in the room. I mean, this is just, this is one of the most heterosexual things. I've never understood the two on one with another guy. It's just like, what is the advantage oh, of twice the dicks and balls in the room? I don't understand, what are we doing here? This is going in the wrong direction. We want another vagina, right? Are you running for office? for office, and if elected, everyone gets an extra vagina. All right, so you're getting ahead. I'm Ho getting ahead, I'm laying back, Jose, right, Jose. shutting my eyes, trying not to hear the slapping of all that other meat in the room. All right, let me set the scene. Jose's like, hey, Houston has better boobs, right? And uh, Alex <laughs> is like, hey, who's got cocaine? And she's like, I once was on a boat and then Dave's like, I got arrested for weed. Right. And, then I'm, and then I'm gonna walk in, ready? And here's why I here don't think- Here comes a hard on killer, right here. What do you say, Phil? <sighs> hey, did, did, did you guys want the uh, sun chips now or later? <laughs> see, I panicked. Look at it, look at it, see what I happened? I panicked, I went right to snacks. Let's see what happened? Her head came up and she looked <laughs> over at you like, who the fuck <laughs> added this guy? To the goddamn thing. There's always one. There's always one. Yeah. There's I, always one. That's why you never have a six on one. Five is the <laughs> five is the limit. No, we got the point after the first time you said it. Stacy, come here for a second. Come here. 
I'm, no, come here. I, I need to. T I need to tell you what? something. I brought uh -oh. you out here because I. Come here. What? Get I'm away get, from my guest. Bill, I'm stay not, right I'm, there. I'm, I'm, Jesus, Phil. Lay no, you down can scoot your chair over, but I don't want you uh, leaving. You need to see this, okay? All right, Dad. I want. Fucking relax. Jesus Christ. I, I don't like the tone that you're taking with me right I now. I don't like the tone that you're taking on this stage. I invited you out here in front of my friends and family so that you could prove a point. You could speak up for yourself, and you're doing the opposite of that shit right now. I've been out here for two minutes, Dr. Phil, and you're trying to silence me. <laughs> All right, so now it's just us. Um, Don't touch me. Okay. No means no. All right. You're learning. I pace back and forth every day. As my mother told me, that one day, that I would. What do we learn tonight? I think we learned something very valuable. I've been all over this great country of ours and I've seen all different types of people, okay? Short, skinny, dwarf, Jew. And I'm a fan. <laughs> but uh, what, what? <laughs> Bill, you want to come up here and join us? No, I think I'm good. <laughs> Touche.